Cooking with your girl, Judy. Today, I'm going to put me on a pot of pinto beans. It's going to be rainy here and uh, in Alabama, and it's going to be cold. So I want me some pinto beans with some ham hocks in them and cornbread. Sweet cornbread. I love sweet cornbread. Come on down here, let me show you what all you need for these pinto beans today. Okay, let me get you down here. All right, you need a bag of pinto beans. You need an onion, chopped onion. You need bacon grease. That's about a cup, I think, and a cup of onion. You need minced garlic. I would use like the fresh garlic, but I don't feel like chopping it up. I'm just gonna uh, put me some minced garlic in there. And, uh, and there you go. You need ham flavored soup base. It's like a little powder. So you'll need about a tablespoon of that. Even though you're gonna have the ham bone. Now this is a cooked ham bone. And I froze it. And uh, I poured it out this morning to thaw out. So, uh, uh, I've got a ham bone here and a couple of other pieces of little ham in there. Because all I'm having today is beans and cornbread and meat, ham meat. You'll need a little butter. You'll need sugar. I'm going to use the adoba. Black pepper. Accent. And crushed red pepper and I may put some extra in something extra in there besides what I have here but I have to taste the broth to see how it's gonna be now there's a story behind these pinto beans I got a story for everything a girlfriend of mine named Henrietta O'Neill Nix O'Neill Banks she cooked them for me and by me moving from Baltimore, I didn't eat vegetables and stuff like that. I ate, you know, sandwiches and, and, you know, things of that nature. But she cooked some pinto beans one day and some cornbread. And you talking about something good. They taste just like eating. I tell her this all the time and she, it gets a, a laugh out of her. It tastes like ice cream and cake. She cooked the best pinto beans. Her name's Henrietta Banks. Hey, Henrietta. Okay, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to put my pen, my uh, turkey up. Oh, shit. Excuse me. My uh, ham bone on to cook. I called it a turkey neck. And I've got my water boiling here. Let me wash my hands. Did I mention it? I'm conditioning my hair? That's how come I got this towel on top of my head. I am conditioning my, my natural. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to uh, cook some pinto beans. Uh, okay. Put your ham bone in. Now that's going to cook not for long before I put my pinto beans in because it, it was already cooked. So I'm putting my uh, ham bone in. And uh, I am going to pick my beans out to see if any dark beans in there or any old beans. And so far, so good. Okay, I don't have any rocks. Or dark, oh well, there's one. Let me put you down here. One, okay, there's another one. Mm 
Okay. There's another one. Okay, I'm going to rinse them off. Then I'm going to put water in them and put them on the back eye to parboil. Uh, the beans do better like that for me. Uh, it, it weakens the skin and you can cook them quicker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, go away. I'm going to rinse them, put some water in them, pick around through them some more, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I am going to uh, muddy my water. I call it muddying my water, putting my seasonings in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me wash my hands. And I'm going to get started. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of of uh, the ham flavored base. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that in here. It's going to get that ham tasting back like ham. These beans tasting like ham. About a tablespoon. About a teaspoon of pepper. About a tablespoon. Just sprinkle some pepper in there. Okay, minced garlic, about a teaspoon. Okay, about a teaspoon of minced garlic. Got a teaspoon of accent. About a tablespoon of adoba. Got a teaspoon of crushed pepper. Oh, wait a minute, if I didn't let you see the adoba. The adoba. Teaspoon of crushed pepper. I'm gonna put a cup of onion. About a cup of oil, bacon, bacon grease. And about a tablespoon of butter. And this is what I call dirty in the water because after all those seasons go in, the water is, is sort of like a muddy color. Muddy color. Now I'm going to taste it to see how it tastes because. The water is going to take on the effect or the flavor of, the beans will take on the flavor of the water. Okay, perfect. Perfect, it's good. Now I'm going to take my beans off the back eye which have been boiling for about maybe 30 minutes. 
I've been power boiling them for 30 minutes. So I'm going to take them out and, and uh, run the water off. I'm going to pour them all in here. Stir them around. Oh, they smell good too. And I'm going to add a little chicken broth to this water. I add chicken broth to everything. I don't like plain water. I add chicken broth to everything. And it was hot, it was warm. And I'm gonna put a top on it. And I'm gonna check back within another hour. And, uh, well, let me see. I forgot to put sugar in. About a tablespoon of sugar. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of sugar. Let me taste the water one more time. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna check back on them within an hour. By then, I'll be done. Uh, conditioned my hair and did something to it, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, the pinto beans have been simmering about an hour. I'm gonna let them cook about another hour. I'm gonna slow cook them about another hour so the juice will get thick on them. The juice is not thick. But they coming right along. Okay, the pinto beans are done. And I got my cornbread over there. And I'm going to fix me up a plate and let y'all see how it looks. Okay, here are my pinto beans. Cornbread. Sliced tomato onion. And I got some ham in there also. I'm going to try it out and see what it tastes like before I put the hot sauce on it. It might be too hot because I put crushed peppers in it. Oh, it's good. This is good. I'm going to take a bite of that onion. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Pinto beans, cornbread, onions, and tomato. Ham. That's the best meal. You don't have to worry about no meat. Just eat the ham and the beans. Stay hu hungry. Stay hungry. Stay humble. And y'all have a good day. Be blessed. And uh, like, subscribe, and comment to my video. 
pinto beans, cornbread, onions, and tomato. This is delicious. Just the right amount of sugar. Not too sweet. Cornbread good and sweet. I love sweet cornbread. Y'all ain't got to go home. But you got to get out of here. Bye for now. Lord, this is so good.